how time flies. I can remember very well how last year we did with everything that happened. I can't believe that a year is gone already. Within this year, so many things have happened. Uh, a reminder for you and myself that we live in time. It's only God that is eternal. At least for now, we live in time. The time is not our friend because it keeps coming and going. It keeps passing. Every second that comes matters. Every minute, every hour, day turn into week, week turns into months, a month into year. So for the fact that he has kept us to see time for a whole full calendar year, it's enough for us to be grateful. It's enough for us to be expectant. It's enough for us to carry that gratitude looking forward to tomorrow that begins a new calendar year. On a day like this, one should not take for granted that tomorrow is just another new day. One should not take for granted the mercy of God that when you slept yesterday and woke up today, the same way you sleep today and wake up tomorrow. That is reducing the mercy of God, reducing the love of God. Taking for granted that some persons that were there yesterday are not there today. On a day like this, the joy in our hearts should not be reserved, should not be managed. A friend was asked, what have you achieved this year? He said, survival. Amen. 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 That your life is enough achievement. That tomorrow will come is that whatever you have not achieved today, you could achieve it tomorrow. A day like this is a day I would have loved. We keep singing and singing, but I belong to that group in the seminary that they beg us, beg us not to sing so that we must spoil the song. <laughs> However, we must just sing. Because he is, I can face tomorrow. Join you. <laughs>
expressing gratitude, he says, Kasha and Matthew were just beginning things. Just beginning. A former coroner called me and complained bitterly how the mother was diagnosed with cancer. And I don't know the stages, but she had already the stage that I think her death would have been in maybe two or three weeks or a month. It was that bad. So she kept lamenting how there is no God, how God is unfair, how God is wicked. Now, because of the state she was in, I could not really, the woman is even dead as we speak, so we knew she was going to die, it was that bad. But I wanted to ask, that even in all this, you think there's still nothing to be grateful for? Do you think for the fact that you still have your mom with you for to an extent, it's not still enough really to be grateful? So persons were giving birth to the never knew their mom. A person's mom died many years ago. So even in what you consider hardship and difficulty, there's always a reason to give thanks to God. So that prayer and song of thanksgiving should not cease from our lips. Remember that popular song that says, Count your blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise what the Lord has done. People will know this song. When I fall like below you, I pray to you. I don't know the introduction, I don't know. Say, <laughs> <laughs> so count your blessings, name them one by one, and be surprised what the Lord has done. <laughs> and I dare to say, well, how about those blessings that you're not even aware of? How can you count them? But don't you know the Lord blesses us even without us knowing? Many years ago, as a seminarian, I visited a friend in a place called Umaya in Nigeria. And so we're in the kitchen. Yeah, preparing some food. <laughs> so on the balcony there, after he used the level of hot water he wanted to use, he asked me to throw the remaining one away over the balcony. And I said, ah, why? He said, no, don't worry, don't throw it in me. <laughs> the first thing he said was just to throw the hot water away, very hot water. But that thing said, look before you throw. Lo and behold, in looking below, I saw a man bending down, not looking at home, not knowing what was going on. Home. He said it was as clean as this, that of James. <laughs> I said to myself, have you been a hot dog with a daddy? In my head, he said, I'm going to fry with the poop or whatever. <laughs> and so I allowed him pass the fight in But the dumb man never knew what had happened. Perhaps in his mind he's complaining that he doesn't have this. He don't know that he would have been in the hospital that day, if not for the grace of God. And so to each and every one of us, we go out, we come in. Do we know the other thing that has happened after we left? Do we know those that were attacked just in case we left a particular place? So when you think of counting your blessings, also imagine, also know rather, that there are blessings you cannot count because you are not aware of them. That God has kept us safe from the 1st of January to 31st of December. Then it should be something to be grateful for. Like I told us at the beginning of the Mass, we celebrate this Thanksgiving Mass in honor of our mother Mary. We also need to be grateful to our mother Mary grateful for her patience and endurance. Like we heard in our first reading today, uh, the, the, the fall of man, the father man did. That is the first plan of salvation that God had for us. Failed. And so there was recourse to send his only begotten
certain songs. And the prophecy started many, many years ago. God started preparing Mary. So that because of human frailty, the first would fail. Perhaps there's also a tendency that still in human frailty, the second can also fail. But we are grateful that the second was patient enough. We are grateful that the second endured, even though she did not understand. Otherwise, in many years, prophecy of Isaiah, Jeremiah, everything, God will have started looking for another plan he came to save you and myself. And so we remain grateful to our lady for her patience and her endurance. And we ask for that patience and endurance as we begin a new year. There's this prayer I want us to pray together in honor of our Mary, of our mother Mary, asking for patience and endurance as we enter the new year. Your response shall be, Sweet Queen, we pray, give us patience and endurance. Sweet Queen, we pray, give us patience and endurance. Sweet Queen, we pray, give us patience and endurance. In the new year, when our spirit is exalted or our spirit is distressed, response. Bless us and bless us in our hearts through Christ our Lord. 